All right, um, if you haven't already, uh, you can draw this. Now, this is actually a particular question from the exercise. I'm going to use it as my opportunity to remind everyone how this works, and um, for particularly the people who work here, and point out something unusual about this question. Now, you don't have Simpson's rule, rather, you don't have the formula and data sheet in front of you, because I've put them away. Does anyone remember for Simpson's rule? What is the approximate area? H over 3. H over 3, and then you've got this thing. Okay, you've got the first one. You've got, sorry, that should be, at, wait, what did I say this? D. Sorry, it's D, yeah, I have my letters all mixed up. Um, it's the first distance, and then it's the middle distance, and then it's the L. Yeah, and like I said, I didn't pick the letters, okay? Now, when you have a look at this, you then, as always with a formula, like I equals PRN or FB equals PV, blah, 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 you've got to think about how to use it, okay? The first thing that's a bit weird to me is that I'm expecting um, this number to be these guys because they're all the same, okay? They're all the heights. But then I'm expecting three other numbers, and I have four, right? So you kind of scratch your head. Now, I kind of alluded to this the first time I showed you. I said, if you want to be more accurate, instead of looking at three values, you just take more measurements. More measurements will give you more accuracy, right? So I'm going to use another color. And I want you to notice, if I want three values, I have a look at these three. One, two, three. If I pop them into the formula, that will tell me this area. Do you agree? Do you see how it caps off that top half? Then I have to deal with the bottom half and I need another three numbers, three different numbers, okay? Well, have a look. When you go down here, you have to reuse the 33, that's fine. It becomes your new first one, then the last one. You'll use 14, that'll be your middle one. And then what happens here? Well, when you, if, if you remember when we did our, um, what's it called again? Our, when we went out to the field, our field diagram, right? One of you is walking across and another person's walking away at measuring, right? Well, how far away is the person going to walk who's walking away from you? Answer, they're not going to walk away from you at all, right? So your third number down here, when you do this all over again, is zero, right? So now you can see, um, one, two, three for the first application, one, two, three for the second application. Does that make sense? Why don't, why don't we actually do it, just so you can confirm you know what you're doing, right? Um, I'm going to say, therefore, the area is approximately equals to, and I have to use this same thing twice. Okay, so here comes the first one. 16 on 3, what do we got? 41. Four of those. There's the top part, right? So there's the area that I've used up there. First, middle, last. And then I have to start all over again for the black area down there, 16 on, still H on 3. Um, new numbers now. First, four of the middle, and last. Okay. You see how I did it? Uh, and then the rest of it just kind of becomes a bit of number crunching for your calculator. Does someone have an answer? Who's there? Yeah. Yep. Uh, 1,637 point recurring three. Unless I did it wrong. Can we have some confirmation? Does that look right? Someone else got their calculator there? 